Hi guys, Paul Pluter, Paul Pluter channel, and today I'm doing a paid review, a paid review. Archie, hope this request finds you well while on your odyssey for the one in the Orient. My friend and I thoroughly enjoy your channel, especially after work while throwing back a few pints. I expect that the 70 US dollars sent to you via PayPal goes towards being loved long time. I'm 29 years old and work in advertising. I've been interested in luxury watches for some time, but have recently pulled the trigger on a and started a collection rather impulsively. I've been told that I've acted recklessly and my money could go towards more progressive and socially responsible things. But those people can go fuck themselves because having nice shit makes me happy. I started my collection in September 2017 with a 2017 two-tone Submariner 116613LB. Then got a black dial Milgauss 116400V in December uh, 2017 with a Corniche limited edition Heritage 40 in between. I wear the Milgauss as my everyday watch and the sub when I go out or feel like being louder than usual. I wore the Connish once to show the uh, aforementioned friend and he was so disgusted by it that he has a plan to get me so drunk that either stab it with a steak knife or throw it against the wall. This has clearly not happened yet. yet but we both look forward to it. <clears throat> Currently, I am conflicted between the following. All a green dial, all gold Rolex Daytona, all gold Rolex Daydate, Patek Philippe Nautilus 5980. Also, the current pieces of my collection were all bought from an authorized dealer brand new. However, some friends are suggesting that I should should consider certified pre-owned what do you think please let me know your thoughts on the current collection and thoughts on what my next move should be given the three in conflict and or if I should be considering something else looking forward to hearing from you thank you so much uh, and I gotta say this is a very interesting collection there so he's got a uh, he's got a two-tone submariner which I gotta say, they are beautiful. Two tone subs are so, so damn cool. And he's also got a, a black dial milk house. Very, very cool. The two tone sub, you've got the blue, two tone blue submariner, the bluesy, and the milk house. Very cool indeed. Uh, and you've also got a, a corniche. What the hell is a Corniche. I must say, I've uh, I must be completely frank and honest with you and say that I've never actually Corniche is a type of Rolls Royce without a roof, I believe. No, am I wrong? Am I not? Um, this is always the danger when you buy absolute. Uh, how do I put this? Absolute no-name brand shoes, Corniche. Corniche, what is it? It's Corniche, Corniche Heritage. Okay, let's have a look. 40, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. It's coming up. A Corniche Heritage Wood 40 will cost you £230. I see. It's obviously going to be a great watch then, isn't it? Oh, shit. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, okie dokie, it's, uh, what do I say about that, the Corniche? It's, uh, i got to say, for a, a cheapie, for a cheapie, it's very, very Lange-esque, isn't it? I mean, okay, that's, uh, yeah, £230, Jesus Christ, it's, um, yeah, okay, fair enough. We all need a beater. We need a beater. So, you, your two serious watches are two-tone bluesy sub and a Milgauss. 
Um, uh, it seems like you really want to go for something fancy, fancy wancy. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, I would probably say you're 29 years old. That's that's great age. I would probably be saying to you, you know, in all honesty, why don't you go for a Batman? I reckon a Batman would really be cool. Because you've got the two-tone bluesy, you got a Milgauss, get a Batman. And to prove that you're not a Rolex file, why don't you get a Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon? Man on the fucking moon. Um, you know, I reckon that four piece, I mean, let's ignore the Corniche piece of garbage, but that would give us some nice steel stunners. However, you want to get a Rolex, the green dial or gold Rolex Daytona. The problem with gold in Rolex is they really, I mean, a gold Rolex is so cool. Yes, yes, it is cool, but they don't seem to be as in demand as the steel stunners. And to give you an idea of what's happened in the Rolex market, I bought a two-tone, sorry, I bought a, I bought a solid gold sub and I sold it. And I gotta be completely frank with you, the, uh, the Rolex sports market Submariners in steel, they've gone crazy. Prices are crazy. But the gold versions, they've kind of held their own. They haven't, I haven't seen huge leaps and bounds uh, increases. The steel Daytona is hot as they come, but that doesn't mean the two-tone is sort of lukewarm. And the solid gold Daytonas, they're plentiful on the used market. So even though the, the steel Daytona is hard to get, I, I think you want to be careful when you buy the all gold ones because they can be harder to shift. Um, the, the all gold, I must admit, you bought the two-tone sub. Now that is one piece you can buy in two-tone that is pretty safe because that is such a wanted watch. Uh, but I'd be careful. You've got to be careful. You've been very lucky. You've stuck with Rolex and you've bought good models. You've done very well there. All gold Rolex day date. Now the problem with the day date is what size do you get? 36 mil, 40 mil, or day date two? So there's three sizes in the range there. Uh, and you're going to look at a Patek. Nautilus 5980. 5980 is the Patek Nautilus chronograph. Wonderful piece. Amazing piece. I, I, I would say to you, I mean, geez, I, I don't know what exactly you do for a job, but man, you seem to be doing something right there. Those are super, super cool pieces. Very cool. If it was me, I would be inclined myself, I reckon, if you had to pick one out of those three there, considering you've got the, the two-tone sub and the Milgauss, I'd definitely get the Patek. The 5980, that is so damn cool. That is Nautilus Chronograph. Ooh, that is just sexy. I mean, to have a Patek is cool. To have a Patek Chronograph ooh, in steel, I think that's the better mix for your age. And um, it's amazing. That is an amazing piece. Big money. Big, 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 big money. So, so my thoughts are either you stick. I, I would like to see you pad out the collection a bit. I think with a some sort of Rolex GMT function watch and maybe a a um, an Amiga Speedmaster chronograph, but. If, if, if you can't afford it, get the Patek, man. Get the Patek. Patek chronograph, that is, that's amazing. Now, the other thing you're saying there is pre certified pre-owned. Now, these are not second-hand cars we're buying. When you say pre-owned, certified, I mean, I don't understand. They, they don't really, that doesn't really 
They don't do that, okay? They don't do that. Um, I think what you're saying is buying it from a reputable dealer, which is fine. Find a dealer who um, sells these pieces, get a, a second-hand piece, by all means. Very wise idea. There's some really good dealers around. Jump on Chrono24 and have a look. Um, you're asking there, um, please let me know your thoughts on the current collection. Well, I say, you've bought very wisely. Those pieces you've bought, even though you've bought them new, they aren't, they're pretty good pieces in the sense they're in high demand and you're probably not going to do your shirt. You start buying a gold day date there, you will want discount, I tell you now, because they are very, very, they do depreciate. They really do plummet. Uh, I, I would generally say if you're going to buy solid gold, I would stick with Paddock. That's what I, I, I think what you should be doing there. Um, you're saying there, you collect, I love your collection. Um, in, and the three, well, if you've got the money, get the Nautilus. Get the Nautilus chronograph. I mean, heavy hitting and it's steel. It keeps you in line with steel. I reckon steel is a great... I love steel. I mean, I'm wearing a steel breetling now. I, I love I love steel. Steel is a is a cool thing. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, if you can get the Nautilus, if you if you really can swing that, if you really have the money to buy that, which is shitload of money, do it, do it, big boy, do it. So um, yeah, very impressive collection. Thank you so much for getting me to review it. And um, keep watching the Paul Pruder channel and the Archie Luxury channel. See you later, guys. What a great collection. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, Paul Pluter channel. And my good friend, Tan Zillin. Tan Zillin. Answering super chats. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tan Zillin. Simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's a not about the money. It's not about the money. It's a my passion. Shaitling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls. Phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full-time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full-time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's a not about the money. It's a my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillan, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillan. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Okay.